and hello and welcome to our ITV training. So here we have our ITV software. We're getting ready to start our first training session. And one of the first things we want to do is to make sure that our Bluetooth antenna transmitter is plugged in and running. We want to make sure that the red and green lights are on steady and when and all of our connections are good. With our FB200AS driver software installed, we're now ready to begin ITV. And as you'll see at the top, we have some familiar looking buttons. New, open, save, cut, copy, paste, print about. We have play and stop buttons, and these correspond to our little preview window right here. This preview window, of course, lets us check out and double check everything that we're building before it goes to our sign out front. It's a very useful tool. Then we have text, weight, time, scale, temperature table, movie clip, we'll get into that later, embed, and brightness control. And here we have our send button, which we will use when we're completely done with our project and ready to send it out. First, we'll start with our text tool here. This is our first basic tool. We're going to learn to walk before we run. So as you see here, we have our text window. We have the built-in preview window to double check our text. And of course, the typing window. Here at the top, it looks a lot like Microsoft Word. We can choose our font, font size, font color, and we choose some of the highlight and background colors that go behind the text. And of course, you have bold, italic, underline. We can choose to center or just center or justify to the right or left our text. And of course, some vertical spacing and scaling tools right here. So, for our test project, we're going to pretend that we're a Popeye's restaurant. We're just going to do a little test item, test uh, project here. Let's say we have a promotional special for just this week. 20 hot wings. Now we're going to click on the preview window down here to see how our text object looks. Now as you can see it's a little bit cramped and we recommend no more than three lines of text at any given time to make sure it all fits inside. You can see these little grid lines here that help us control the composition and spacing. So what we'll need to do is go up here to our top right, make sure that our text is selected and we're going to do a minus one just to see how that looks. Fits in a little bit better. Let's try a minus two. Now it fits a little bit better, but just to be safe, we'll bring it up to a minus three. Okay, not bad. We can use our space bar next to add some extra breathing room. Click preview. So as you can see here, we have black font, yellow highlight, and a red background. So for example, let's say we want to break this up a little bit. We'll select these two lines here and we'll give it the same red background or red highlight to match the red background. Click preview. Not bad. And next let's say we want to change the font color here. So as you can see here, those are some nice ways that we can change our color highlights. Let's say for now this is okay. We're, this is what we like. So now we're going to click OK in the bottom right corner. Now as you can see first thing in our contents description window, we have now created a new text layer right here for the 20 hot wings special we just made. Now over here in our upper right corner you'll see action group and action item. These are some of the different tools we have for assigning motions, transitions, and other effects to our text items. When we click on move, it shows down here under action item a variety of different moving options, such as left to right. So let's just add that and it appears here. Now, next we want to add a weight. A weight is a nice way of telling the software that when our text item appears on screen, we want it to pause for a moment and show us what we've typed in. So we're going to set it for one second. And you can see this little pull down. We can choose seconds, milliseconds, or minutes. We're going to do just one second. So now that appears under here. And then we're going to select that and do a copy using the 
right click on our little trackpad and then do a paste. We literally did a copy and paste. And we want to make sure to save our project. Always save. Be careful. Now that we think so far it looks good, let's do a test. We're going to click on the play button. And it may take a few moments for it to fire up. And there we go. So as you can see, very basic scrolling. From right to left, it pauses for a moment and then it keeps going. It's very basic, but as I said, we want to walk before we run. And in this case, it looks, looks fairly good. A nice way to update your daily specials at your restaurant. Now let's say we want to do more than one item. We want to add some extra text items to our little piece here. Well, that's surprisingly easy. First, we'll click on the stop button up here. Since we've built everything, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We will select all, right-click, and do a copy. And we'll select down here and right-click again to do a paste. So now we have a second text item. We have a total of two text items with the movements and the pausing built into both. And let's just cut out that because we don't need two lefts to make a right. We'll double-click on that. We'll double-click on the preview again to make sure it all looks okay. Now this time, let's experiment with biscuits and gravy. And this was a pretty easy, pretty easy, pretty basic little quick change. Just type in preview, we like it, we'll click OK down here. So now we have that. Do a quick, quick control S save and we'll click on play on the play button again to see how it looks here and you'll want to make sure that your preview window you'll notice here on its title bar it'll show the resolution in this case 256 by 64 you want to double check your your sign to make sure that your preview window and your board sizes and the LED sign out in the front of your building all are the same so that looks quite good <coughs> So that's a fairly basic text animation. Now let's say we want to be a little more elaborate. Instead of just moving left to right, let's cut that out. We'll select this. Let's do something a little bit more elaborate. So let's select, say, Transitions, which is number eight in our action groups. Down here, we have a selection of six different exposures. We'll double click one. So now we have one up there. Let's click play. Oh, look at that. It's a little more elaborate. So now we have different choices and options. We don't just have to make it move from right to left. We can add some nice little tra transitions, some special effects. We can make it wipe from one side to another, dissolve. We can add water droplets. There are many different little effects. We can choose scrolling, pattern, pattern two, enlarge, reductions different options like that, even rotations, of course, and reductions. And all these are nice little effects to make our text transitions a little more elaborate. But let's say that's not, that's not quite what we want. Let's say we want to go more elaborate. Let's start all over again. The movie button is a wonderful tool we can use because now we have a new option. We'll click on movie, we'll open the video editor, which is one of the four buttons here, upper left. Click on video editor. And this very handy little video editor window opens. Now what video editor allows us to do is to import pre-rendered, pre-designed animation clip files. In Adobe After Effects or Final Cut Pro, you can make a video clip to the same resolution as your LED sign. And you can use very elaborate special effects. You can bring in video clips, pictures, whatever you want. We're going to click on File, Import. We're going to select Popeye's animation number three. And this is the animation we saw at the beginning. Now you notice here at the bottom we have some familiar looking buttons. Rewind, Play, Stop, Fast Forward. We have a little timeline with this little uh, 
tab button we can pull on if we want to check everything. Of course we have some adjustment tools for our resolution. A little X box, we do want to click on that to make sure that it all frames correctly. Now in here we have our kind of load window which allows us to examine the video clip as we bring it in. This is a preview window which will show us how it's going to look on the LED sign out front. So next we want to go to set export format and double check that our resolution and everything matches the sign outdoors. And if you have any questions, you can contact us to get this resolved if you run into some problems. Next, we'll go to Edit, Replace. And this tells the software to preload the animation and to make sure that it all crops and fits. This is a very important step to double check everything, as carpenters like to say, measure twice, cut once. And you, as you can see, we have some really nice little video clips in here showing off all the many wonderful meal deals at Popeyes. And of course, this could apply to any business or nonprofit group or government agency. If you want to use a video clip, a photograph, the, there are many different options as far as what you can bring in and what you can do. Animated 3D text, uh, really the sky's the limit. And of course, beautiful footage. So as you can see, the little timeline slider kind of moving from left to right here. And we're just doing this to make sure that everything goes through okay. It's a little checking, if you will, some proofreading before the animation goes out to our side. That's one of the great things about ITV is that there are many steps that allow us to double check everything before it goes out front. So it's very nearly done. So it played through okay. So now we're going to do File Export. <coughs> this is a form of saving our file or just Control S. And we'll save it over here. The Popeyes.ymv file. YMV is one of the file formats ITV uses for bringing a video clip into the LED sign software. And as you can see down here, there's a little address showing you where that the file is loaded. We'll click OK. And now we have a video clip layer at our contents description window. This functions a lot like a playlist in iTunes. We'll click play to see how it looks. And so far, so good. So it plays through OK, we will click Stop. We're now going to go to Board. We're going to double check our connections to make sure that everything is OK. Clicking on the Board pull down menu here. We would then click on Connect. Make sure that's all connected correctly. And then we'll click when the Send button is running. We can click on Send and click Send again. It might take about 5 or 10 minutes to upload. So we'll do that right now, and then we'll check our sign out front to see how it goes. And voila, here we go. A fresh, new, beautiful animation on your LED sign to help promote your brand. Whether you're a fried chicken restaurant or a local church, the obvious benefits of the LED technology are incredible. And more importantly, it's so easy to control with a simple ITV software. So good luck out there. Get started. And by all means, keep in touch. We'll have more training videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.